Hi, welcome you all to Pebbles. In today's class, we are going to see measurement of capacity. Measurement, measurement of capacity, that means uh, generally we measure the what liquids. Uh, while you talk about liquids, we have to use this word capacity. So that means uh, one liter of water, 500 ml of uh, what oil, any kind of oil, sunflower oil or groundnut oil or coconut oil, even um, whatever the oils may be, castor oil, everything is there. So the, we measure only the liquids, the, we measure the liquids, so we use uh, what liter as a unit, okay. If you, if you want to measure the liquids, we are going to say measurement of capacity, most probably all the uh, liquids under in capacity, all the liquids under in capacity. So liquids are measured in liters or milliliters, sorry, and milliliters, liters and milliliters. The smaller quantity of liquid measured in milliliter and the bigger quantities of uh, liquid measured in what, liter. That is, well, that is what I tell you, one bucket of water, that is maybe the bucket comes under, the capacity of bucket is 5 liter. So 5 liter, so liquid, is a, water is a liquid, uh, a bucket full of water, that bucket capacity is 5 liter of water. That is what measurement of capacity. Most probably liquids comes under in measurement of capacity. What are the liquids? All the liquids, water, milk, oil, petrol, diesel, everything comes under in what liquids so uh, that is what i tell you so smaller quantities while you measure the liquids we use uh, some units the major units a smaller unit measure in the smaller unit is called as milliliter so smaller quantities we measure in milliliter and bigger quantities we measure in what liter so smaller quantities again i'll repeat you smaller quantities we measure in milliliter and bigger quantities we measure in what liter this is the basic thing so don't forget it so now we are going to see see smaller quantities have written milliliter it denotes ml otherwise short form of m milliliter is called as ml and bigger quantities means liter uh, it's a short form of what l short form of l liter denotes l uh, liter short form is l milliliter short form is what ml that is milliliter so ml is milliliter l means liter milliliter short form is ml liter short form is l so sm smaller quantities always measure in what milliliter smaller quantities measure in milliliter bigger quantities uh, bigger quantities measure in liter i'll repeat once again smaller quantities measure in milliliter bigger quantities measure in liter so 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter this is the formula you have to memorize it so 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter 500 ml is equal to half liter and 250 ml is equal to 1 by 4 liter this is quarter liter and 750 ml is equal to 3 by 4 liter that is that is an important what formula you have to memorize it so liquids comes under in capacity i'll repeat once again liquid comes under in capacity so whatever the liquids you can take example i've told you many examples i give you water water milk oil all the oil comes under in petrol diesel everything comes under in liquid so all the liquids comes under in capacity that is what i tell you one bucket of water that is the capacity of bucket is 5 5 liter or 10 liter or 20 liter even the can is 50 liter or 100 liter can that is what the capacity of a what liquid then otherwise capacity of the bucket the liquid is the liquid doesn't have a proper shape whatever the um, whatever you pour it the liquid if you pour if the pour if the liquid pour in the uh, what container liquid doesn't have a shape so it takes the container shape that is a uh, major uh, property of liquid so now we are going to see smaller quantities measures in milliliter so milliliter it's denotes ml otherwise it's short form of ml and the milliliter short form is ml bigger quantities measure in liters it's short form of l uh, liters denote otherwise liters denote l so this is the formula you have to memorize it and 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter and 500 ml is equal to half a liter and 250 ml is quarter liter 1 by 4 liter and 750 ml is equal to 3 by 4 liter that is called as we can call 1 l and this is also you can write like this so it's a very important so don't forget this formula um, now i've told you the example just a small examples so one liter of one liter one L, one liter of milk one liter of milk is an example one liter of milk one liter of milk 
and um, 500 ml of coconut oil and 250 ml of groundnut oil and 10 liter of petrol five liter of diesel otherwise you can call this five liter of water so this is the example of what liquids these are all liquids this measurement this particular measurement we can call it as what? Capacity. measurement of capacity so these measurement we can call it as measurement of capacity these are the examples of liquids so I think so we don't forget this so kindly memorize memorize the formula otherwise you will not do the conversion Okay, now we are going to see convert liters into milliliters. That is, convert liters into milliliters. That is, nine and a half liter, nine liter and half a liter. So first you have to convert nine liter. That is becomes a change into nine thousand ml. Then half a liter, I have told you five hundred ml. See, five hundred ml. See, look at this. One liter is equal to how much? 1000 ml here 9 liter so first we have to segregate 9 and a half that means 9 plus half this 9 liter it becomes how much 9000 ml 9000 ml 9 liter is converted into 9000 ml 9000 milliliter and half a liter is converted into 500 ml in this formula half a liter it is what 500 ml that is what I have written now we are going to add these because both units are same so 0 0 5 and 9 the answer is 9500 ml so conversion of that is conversion of 9 and a half liters equal to 9500 ml that means 9500 milliliter 9 and a half liter convert into milliliter so 9 you have to convert 9 and a half liter into what milliliter so the answer is 9 and a half liter convert into milliliter means answer is 9500 milliliter answer is what 9500 milliliter this is the right answer for the questions next express in milliliter first question is what liter so liter is convert into milliliter so first question a 7 liter so you know that one liter is equal to how much thousand ml so you have to convert into milliliter so that means seven into thousand ml thousand you can get what seven thousand ml seven thousand ml seven thousand milliliter seven liter convert into milliliter so one liter is equal to thousand ml that means seven m seven liter one liter is equal to thousand ml one l is equal to thousand ml that means one liter is equal to thousand milliliter so you have to find out therefore seven liter that means seven liter means seven l is equal to what you're going to do that is what i've written seven into thousand so here we can get seven thousand ml that means 7000 milliliter is the right answer for the question next question b question next is b so the question is 3 liter and 500 ml that means 3 liter and 500 milliliter you have to convert into overall what milliliter so 3 liter 500 milliliter that means 1 liter is equal to how much 1000 ml that means 1000 ml 1000 ml that means 3 liter means 3 into 1000 you can get 
3000 ml 3000 ml then after that what you can get 500 ml already is here so you have to add 3500 ml so answer is 3 liter 500 ml is equal to the answer is 3500 milliliter this is the right answer for the question even you can do one thing this is one method see otherwise you can do the same 3l 500 ml 500 ml look at this so you have to write 3l then 500 ml so again you have to convert into milliliter 3 liter convert into what 3000 milliliter then you have to write 500 milliliter as it is then you have to add both together 005 3500 ml so 3 liter 500 milliliter the answer is 3500 milliliter this also one method so this is a uh, this also you can find this is one method this is a another method okay which is easy for you you can choose and do the sum okay that's all